Okay, this is tying a double snail hook set up using a standard steelhead salmon knot with an egg loop. Just a byproduct of it. Doesn't really affect it. So first of all, you start like this. Go through this loop here. And you go about six or seven wraps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pinch the knot. And with the tag end, you go through the eye like that, pull it through, pinch the knot, and with the loop that you form, stick two fingers through it and just wrap like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pinch the knot. You notice I have one finger in the loop. Helps control it. You just pull it like that and carefully cinch it up. You can get a knot right like that. You got the tag in there handy, so go ahead and cut that off. And with the second knot, pretty much the same thing. Second hook. Go in like that, make sure it's on the right way. Same as the other hook. What I like about this is you can pretty much calculate Ex the exact measurement between the hooks. So that's about three quarters of an inch. And you wrap it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pinch the knot. Take the tag in. Go through the eye. Leave the loop. Now you're going to be, need a bigger loop here for two hooks now, so you pinch the knot. You can make that loop bigger by just pulling it through like that. So then you take that two fingers and you go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Keep your finger in that loop, pinch the knot, pull it through, and carefully cinch it up, just like that. And as you can see, still have about three quarters of an inch. One thing I like about this is that, that the knots stay put and that this egg loop here, you can bring that out like that. You can snip it off with a little bit of a tag. That way, your hook can be separated and you can tie a leader onto that anytime you want. And so, uh, that's it. And that's what you get.